So this is a close-up of the hot end shroud on the Interfi Plus. So it's got the stock uh, set up here as far as the uh, front uh, cooling fan uh, for the hot end and then the part cooling fan there on the right side. It's, I've had the Inter5 Plus for more than uh, four years and made a lot of modifications to it. I've shown in other videos, but this is one area that, that I haven't tried anything different until now. I have the video sped up to show taking apart the BL Touch and uh, as we go along here, I'm going to unscrew the shroud from the assembly here for the hot end so we can get access. Uh, I did have a uh, cable management uh, strain relief there on the back that was zip tied. So that was the cut zip tie I took off. Now taking off the printed strain relief part. So what I'm going to show in the video today is uh, converting over from the stock uh, cooling shroud to the Satsana uh, design. All right, let's get to work and get this shroud unscrewed and unbolted here. Now we've got the BL touch removed. Now the front part of the shroud is loose. We'll get access to the fans to take those off. I've already got the screws undone for the part cooling fan on the right side. Can just hang there now. Got to keep all the uh, screws organized. All right, so now we can take the main fan off of the shroud piece. And there we go. And I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, replace the fans while we're doing this too. All right, the fans uh, for the moment can stay supported up there on the bar while we get, or not. Uh, that's right, they're not hurting anything, but need to get the PTFE tube out of the hot end and going to replace that as well. So it, it that one's been in here a bit, so... So for these fans, uh, I've actually replaced these in the past and went through the effort to do uh, quick uh, disconnects here uh, so I don't have to go through the wiring all the way back to the main board uh, and, and mess with that. All right, now that everything's taken apart and disassembled, just have it laid out here to be able to work on replacing the fans and then getting everything uh, reinstalled. So the first time that uh, I had a fan wear out on this machine. I bought uh, packs of these Winson fans off of Amazon. They're 4010 24 volt. Uh, it's just a 4010 fan for the uh, cooler on the front of the shroud and then uh, it's a 4010 blower fan for the part cooling on the right side. One of the details with the way that these fans uh, come out of the box uh, and with the uh, quick disconnects for the wiring uh, back to the main board is actually do have to reverse the uh, coupling here and, and put the wires in uh, the uh, just swap them around essentially so we'll do that so I have this uh, small screwdriver kit and I find the uh, finest, uh, th smallest flathead uh, in this micro screwdriver kit so that it'll fit here to be able to push the uh, coupling out uh, of the quick connect on the wiring. So when you get that popped out on both sides, then you can swap the wires. Now that we've got the wires swapped, ready to be in the right orientation to reconnect, good to put the brand new fans and get them connected in here. Just have to keep straight which fan was which, the old fan and, and the new fan. Uh, not get lost to what I'm doing here while I'm recording. All right, the new fans are connected, ready to go. Connections are tight. Take one more look here at the 
hot end before we get the Satsana cooling shroud installed over it. I printed the cooling shroud out of PET-G. Uh, it's Bamboo Lab Red Basic PET-G. Uh, and I did print it on my X1 Carbon, but uh, looks pretty good to match the other red parts I have here on the Interfi Plus. And here it is, uh, already bolted on to the hot end. I wasn't able to record that as I did it, but you can see here on the left, uh, have the two screws in and the BL touch uh, in place. I like that with this design that it's a, uh, the Satsana design is a drop-in replacement. So all the screw positions, the BL touch, uh, and the same fans uh, all fit and work uh, here with the, the Ender 5. I, I believe this would work on an Ender 5 Pro, uh, definitely works here, uh, fits on the Ender 5 Plus. Not sure about the other uh, Creality machines, uh, if it would work for those as well, but it might. Pretty happy with uh, how easy that was to, to put on here. And now we've got the front cooling fan bolted in as well, so Fans are in, BL Touch is in, everything is secured back, uh, just have some cable management to do. Moment of truth, fingers crossed. All right, BL Touch started up just fine and the front fan is also spinning in the right direction. Uh, looks great. Let's go to the next step and get everything homed now. Oh shoot, what's that? All right, I hit the power switch so we could investigate what's going on here. And looking there, you can actually see that there's a gap with the X limit switch. So coming back to the uh, Thingiverse page for the model and of course uh, going back and, and reading the instructions so if you look here the designer actually noted for Ender 5 Plus that the X limit switch might have to be adjusted so um, thank you to the designer for calling that out and that's uh, the solution that we need to do now so adjusting the limit switch um, unplug it and loosen the screws and then be able to have it align up with the uh, new shroud on the hot end there. Got everything reconnected with the alignment, rehoming. There you could hear the two clicks. So the, the clicks are, that's the normal operation and what, what we want when it's homing for the X uh, limit switch there. And now it'll just finish homing Z with the BL touch and we'll be good to go. So when I put the PTFE tube in, I forgot to put the clip uh, in place. So having to work my way in here with needle nose pliers to clip it back in place. All right, I've got a uh, startup process going with uh, bed leveling and just have a uh, test print with a calibration cube testing out how the cooling works with the new cooling shroud so the really didn't have much of an issue with the stock uh, shroud from uh, the original design but i know that's a modification that a lot of makers do on the printer is to update and have better cooling so Thought it was time to go ahead and try that on this uh, machine. And calibration cube is looking uh, pretty good. Be looking to test it out with more complex models. But thanks for watching.